gray is one of my favorite colors and I adore flowers. So you want to set that aside and then get to work on the interior which has two compartments. I have already constructed one compartment. Here's what that looks like. There are six pockets on the inside. So we're going to duplicate that exact process here. And the first part of that process is creating um, four sets of pockets. The pockets, when you cut them, will measure 17 inches across by 12 inches tall. And you're going to take that piece of fabric and fold the top and the bottom edge over and press that and then fold the entire piece over and I canter that folded lip just a bit so I have a tiny bit of detail there at the top. This gives it a little more rigidity and you're going to stitch the top that you know edge where you folded it. You're going to stitch all the way down. And now you have your pocket panel complete. I add one more row of accent stitching to my pocket. makes it look very professional. You're going to need to create four pockets in total, which you're going to attach to four body panels, which measure 12 inches tall by 17 inches wide. I have already attached my second pocket to that, so you can see how that's going to fit. I divided the, my pocket in thirds. You can divide your pockets any way you like. That's the beauty of um, being a bag designer. So this top edge with the stitching goes towards the top and the bottom folded edge is going to be positioned two inches up from the base of this body panel. You're going to pin that in place and then stitch all the way across the bottom and then divide your pocket however you like. So in total, you'll have four of these pocket panels. And now to construct one of the two interior compartments, you're going to need two side panels, which measure five inches across by 12 inches tall. So in total, you'll need four of these. Right now, I'm just gonna use two. I'm attaching the sides here just like we did for that exterior. First we'll attach the sides to this panel and then the base to the other panel. So then I have the second panel here which will have the base attached to the base and this base is 5 inches tall by 17 inches wide. So you remember, I need to stitch all the way across the base. Now that the base is attached, set that aside for a moment. I'm going to attach these sides by stitching down the right and the left. Bases. 
and stitch from the side to the side, just like that. So from finger to finger with a back stitch at the beginning and the end. Now when you open this up, you have something that looks like a T. And you will take the sides and align them. Go ahead and pin that. And then align the other side. And then stitch those sides. You should have two holes in the bottom, which you're going to go ahead and close up by attaching the side of the base to the base of the side. Okay, now this is my second interior compartment. You'll need to make one more. I already pre-stitched one. I'm going to turn it right side out so you can see how that looks. So I have three pockets on each side. You got your sides and your base here. Now is a great time to trim up all the extra threads. Then you're going to need to turn that back wrong side out and go ahead and fold that top edge over approximately an inch and you can just press that down with your hand there so it stays put and I've done the same thing to my second panel. And then you want to put those together like this and line up those side seams and go ahead and pin those two center panels together. Start first at the seams and then work your way in towards the center. So now you have like a dual compartment insert, which you want to fit into your exterior. I have cut out a piece of foam here that is six and a half inches wide by about 15 inches, 15 and a half inches. Um, long and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the base of the exterior before I fit in the interior. You could cut out cardboard, um, foam board, you could create um, you know stacks of interfacing. Just use something to give this bag a stable base. I chose the one inch foam because I'm going to use this to carry my camera and my computer and I want there to be some shock absorption in the base of this. So I'm just going to fit this piece in here and that will help the bag stand up nice. You can see that just sits right inside of there and then I'm going to fit my interior inside of there. And to begin, you're going to want to align those side seams first. So each of the side seams from the interior compartment will get lined up with the side seam of the exterior. And I just pin through all of those layers. Now the interior is um, situated inside of the exterior and that looks really good and you can see how we're going to have the two independent compartments. So we're going to set that aside for a few minutes 
and create these flap closures, which look like this. I already have one done, very pretty. And for this, you're going to need to cut out two pieces of fabric which measure two and three quarters wide by eight inches tall. This is for one flap, so you'll need four of those pieces in total, two and three quarter by eight inches. And then you'll need one piece that's six inches by eight inches. You'll actually need two, but one per flap. And then two pieces that are four and a half by eight or one per flap. And so this is the configuration. The two little ones are on the end, then the big one, and then the second. Two um, largest. So you just begin by putting the pretty sides facing. Same fashion, you're going to stitch down the side from top to bottom. And open that up and position pretty sides facing one of the smaller pieces to the right. And then the last piece will go to the right of the largest piece, pretty sides facing. you're going to need to press that flap and then I've cut out an interior lining piece and a piece of batting which is 14 inches across by 8 inches tall and you'll position your pretty patchwork panel face down on that and you're going to stitch up the short sides and across the base Press that nice and flat. Just top stitch all the way around. Okay, now my second flap is done. I'm going to set that aside for a few minutes and we need to create two straps which I have already fashioned one and I'll show you that. It looks like this and for the straps you're going to need two pieces of fabric which are 22 inches long by 5 inches wide and to create the strap you'll fold your material in half right sides or wrong sides facing press that open it up and then bring the edges inward to meet on that center line and then fold the folded edges over and then you're just going to top stitch down both long edges strap complete. I'm going to bring back over the bag. Now I have fit one of the flaps already in here and that is going in between the center inserts. So the two divided compartments on the inside, I pin that in between there and I'm going to have to put the second flap in there as well so that's going to go right sides facing and get tucked in between those layers. I want them both the same height that's why it's easier to put one in first and then pin through all of that material.
sandwiched in between that center panel. And you can see how they fit. Oh, I love this bag. Okay, now I need to position the straps and they're going to go just to the right of the side seams in between the exterior and that first interior panel. And we'll pin those in place. side to position. And now we have to decide what kind of closure you want on this, um, on each flap. I'm thinking about putting two snaps on either side. You could do Velcro, you could also do a button. So that's what I have to decide for sure is what kind of closure to put on those flaps. 